already know what it is. All I do is work. So I discovered recently, um, just by trial and error, uh, that a lot of my physical issues that I have, uh, whether it be like excessive tiredness that I have sometimes, um, sometimes I feel weak, like when I'm lifting uh, on certain days, um, just feeling hungry. Um, and it, it seems silly, um, headaches, things, things of that nature. It seems silly that I'm realizing it, but I'm, I don't know. It's it's so simple. I think a lot of problems stem solely from dehydration, and a lot of people don't even realize it. Um, I would say most people don't drink enough water. I mean, that's pretty. I think that's a pretty. Standard observation, you can probably find that information anywhere. Most people do not drink enough water on a daily basis. Um, my problem really was not so much not drinking enough water, which I don't. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not drinking probably what I should. But on top of that, I'm taking in a lot of caffeine. And uh, caffeine is known to dehydrate you. And... Um, I think that that's where a lot of my problems stem from. So, when you take in extra caffeine, you really need to take in extra water. You should always keep that in mind. You know, if you get up and you have coffee every morning, or you take a pre-workout before you lift, or maybe you drink coffee throughout the day. Maybe you have a long work day. You know, maybe you sit at a desk and it's tough for you to stay awake. Um, you really need to make sure you get that extra water in. Uh, they say that you should have. 50% of your body weight in ounces per day. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you should have 75 ounces of water. Now that is not for an active person, that's for just a general day-to-day -day person not working out or living an active lifestyle. So if you lift, if you go to the gym, if you run, uh, if you do cardio on a daily basis, uh, they say you should have uh, about 70%. So that would mean, say, you're 200 pounds, you should have anywhere from 130 to 150 ounces of water per day. So it's a lot of water. I mean, when you when you break it down, it's like, damn, it's like, how am I going to drink all that water? But if you start your day by getting up after your eight hour fast from, from water, um, drink a glass of water first thing. Um, and then throughout the day, keep a bottle of water with you. Just drink as you go, little by little. Uh, end the day with the same, a glass of water before bed, you'll find it's a lot easier to get in if it's always your beverage of choice. Try uh, try flavor enhancers, not the caffeinated ones. Um, try some of those little flavor enhancers that you can add, add to a bottle of water. And uh, that'll help a lot. There's a lot of people, they think water's boring. I mean, it's bland. There's nothing to it, but... Um, They'd rather drink a soda or a tea or coffee or you know, juice, what have you. But if you can incorporate drinking more water, I'm willing to bet that if you have any of these problems, you'll alleviate some of them too. Like if you get headaches frequently, um, if you wake up and it just takes you forever to wake up in the morning, you just cannot seem to get that groggy feeling to go away. Um, if you're feeling maybe weaker during workouts or lack of motivation, excessive tiredness. Dehydration could, could be the main factor in that. So take that into consideration and uh, try to get more water in before you go into thinking it's, you know, something, something worse than it is or something that's harder to take care of than that. Um, I would say start there. Start with staying hydrated. Um, it's funny uh, because they, they say that you actually are dehydrated before you even feel thirsty. So by the time you feel thirst and are like, man, I, I really need something to drink. I have my throat's dry, my mouth's dry. Before you get to that point, you're already dehydrated. Because that's a sign of dehydration, mild dehydration, is thirst. 
So just remember that if you're feeling thirsty, then you're definitely dehydrated. So you're probably dehydrated long before that. If you keep if you keep uh, your water intake up throughout the day, I doubt you'll have this problem and you won't, you won't feel thirsty, like not to that extent. So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you think you do a good job staying hydrated. Are you getting that 50 to 70% uh, of your body weight in ounces a day? Uh, I don't know. I know I wasn't, and I'm doing my best now to remedy that, and it's already helping so much. So, let me know about your guys' life, and uh, if you've ever had any bad experiences with dehydration. And keep that in mind next time if you have any of those symptoms, like maybe you just need a glass of water. Thank you.